YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today is my makeup basket for the week of April the 14th. Tomorrow is tax day. Boo. I have not done my taxes yet. We will be filing for an extension. <laughs> anyway, this is my makeup basket for the week. And I'm going to jump right into what I am wearing. Actually, I'm going to jump right into this eyeshadow look. The video will be coming up on Tuesday. I got a lot of interest in the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. So I did do a tutorial slash sort of review of the eyeshadow. Uh, thanks to my son who decided he needed to be my creative director slash want to be makeup artist. I don't know what he wants to be, but um, the look is a little bit more bold than what I am used to. I did do a more subdued version of this look, but he told me because of what this palette was that I needed to go a little bit more bold, so I did. So this is my bold eyeshadow look using the Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. Once again, that video will be live on Tuesday at around 9 a.m., but let's jump into what I'm going to be using this week. And I have a couple of the Gen Nude Floral Utopia. Flat floor utopia gen nude palettes. I have the latte and I have the floor utopia, and this is what the latte palette looks like. And this is the floor utopia palette. And I will tell you, this is the floor utopia palette. I will tell you, I ended up using this palette and then another palette that is in my makeup basket for this week. Last week, I kind of chucked all of the palettes that I chose last week because I wasn't feeling either one of them. So I didn't use any of my eyeshadow palettes that I pulled for last week. FYI, because you wanted an update on how my week went as far as my makeup baskets, I didn't use any of those palettes last week. Um, the other palette that I'm going to show you is a palette that I pulled out to replace one of the palettes last week. And this is one of my absolute favorites. And this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And of course you know what it looks like. So I'm going to keep that in my basket for the week. I also pulled out an oldie and this is the Lorac Pro 3. And it looks like this. Back here it looks like this. That looks a little bit better. And I pulled out another new palette that I picked up from MAC. And this is from the Boom Boom Bloom collection. And this is, um, it looks like they call it Kabuki Doll. It's one of the Eyeshadow Times 9 palettes. And this is what it looks like. I have not used this one yet. So we will be using that this week. I do see a decent... Um, sort of transition shade for me, <clears throat> Jeffree Star. I do see a good transition color for people of color in this palette. I am going to jump now into my foundations. I think I'm going to pretty much keep the same, which is the um, CC Plus Illumination from It Cosmetics, and I have it in Rich Honey. And also the Bye Bye Foundation in Rich Honey. So I'm going to continue to use these. And I did use Bye Bye Foundation in Rich Honey today on my face. My son helped me with my lighting. I was telling him how I felt like I was sitting in the dark. Like my videos were looking dark to me. So he fixed my lighting. So I thank him so much for doing that for me. Because I feel like now you can tell that my walls are gray. And now you can see what actually my real skin color is. I feel like I look more fresh and more sharp. So I thank him for sitting down here and fixing my lighting for me. I have... We will pull this out. These are like my concealers. We won't talk about those. I have four blushes pulled for this week. Two of them are from Milani and it's their rose blushes. So I have it in 06 Lady Rouge and I have it in 09 American Beauty Rose. This one being the more neutral, but I feel like with some of the more subdued eyeshadows, I can do like the pop of color with this one. I also pulled out the Gen Nude blush in the shade Tropical Orchid. And I did do a video on this collection and I will link it in the cards. So I have that one. 
and I pulled out a It Cosmetics, one of the CC Plus Radiance Ombre Blushes, and this is in the shade Sugar Plum. So this is a cooler toned blush. So those are my four blushes. Um, I don't know why I feel like I'm going through my makeup baskets so quick this time. We have a whole new big overkill of the lip shades for this week. And um, one that I am wearing today is Japanese Maple. And it is from MAC and it looks like this. Of course, you know I have it on with Chestnut Lip Liner, but this is Japanese Maple. Japanese Maple is a cream sheen, which I like because my lips feel moisturized. Um, I also have an amplified one and this is in the shade Vegas Volt. I will also be wearing this one with uh, Chestnut Lip Liner. I have a couple of the lip shades from the new Boom Boom Bloom collection from MAC. I have a lipstick and this is a matte lipstick in Frambois Moi. I guess that's how you say it. But gorgeous. So I have that. I have a lip glass in the shade Cherry Mochi. I think that is. And it looks like this. Um, in the, I thought I pulled the other one out too. The Bare, Mon Bare Minerals Floral Utopia. I have the shade My Sweet Peony. Another one that will be used with a lip liner. I don't know if it'll be like currant or chestnut, but it will be used with a lip liner. And I have a oldie here. This is one of the, what do they call it? The Revolution Lipstick? I can't remember, but it's an old Urban Decay Lipstick. And it is in the shade Liar. And it looks like this. And I have... Oh, I do have the other Gem Nude Lip, Gem Nude Lip Gloss from Floor Utopia Collection. Put two lips together. So we'll be wearing that. Um, and I pulled out the collection from Tarte when they had their Kiss and Makeup campaign for Cyberbullying. They had a collection of lipsticks that looked like this if i can hold them up for you to see but they looked like this. this is what the packaging looked like and these are full size lipsticks um i just pulled all of them out because i'm not quite sure but this is the fade the shade ily probably won't be wearing that one that one is a little bit dark then again you never know i have the shade lovely which looks like this, which might be perfect. And I just perfectly got that on my hand. I have the shade Uplift, which is sort of a dark nude. I have to be careful because I'm nicking my lipsticks. I have it in the shade Happy. And Happy is a gorgeous deep red shade. It looks like that. And <clears throat> I have it in the shade Strong. And Strong looks like this. A really pretty bluish pink color. And I believe that is my makeup. Oh. What I have on my cheeks today and I wanted to include, because I will be wearing this this week, is a highlighter from Bare Minerals. And it is the Bare Pro Glow Highlighter in the shade Joy. And I have it on my lips, my lips, my cheeks today. So as you can see, it is in here looking pink. I'll try to put a little bit of a dot because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So it looks pink when you first pump it out. But as you sort of blend it, it sort of turns gold and then I didn't pump enough for you to see that let me see okay now that was too much but it looks pink here and as you can see it's a liquid highlighter but as you blend it out it starts to look gold so maybe it's like a rose gold color but on my cheek it looks straight up gold but this is the shade joy the Bare Pro Glow Highlighter from Bare Minerals. So I'm going to be using that also. That is it, you all. That is what is going to be in my makeup basket for the week. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup. Bye.